What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another M19 draft on Magic. Why is it called M19? It's they know it's 2018, right? It's such a weird naming convention. Like when you look at it in the future, or when you look at it from the future in the past, you're like, "Oh, M19. That must have come out in 2019." No, it actually came out in 2018. Why did they call it 2019? I don't know. It's weird. So, like, if you called it M28, M2018, you could just it could just be this the core set that came out in 2018, right? So, I don't know. Just call it just call it M M18, right? Is there an M18? No. So, what problem is, right? Right? Anyway, tell Amy I said hello, and uh, I'm going to take this graveyard marshal. This graveyard Marshall Sutcliffe. Cuz it's probably the best card in this pack. And then we, we can get this reassembling skeleton back, and uh, you can exile it from your graveyard to, uh, to. Ooh, I like a herald of faith. We've had to pass a bunch of heralds, a bunch of heralds of faith in the in the previous drafts. Four three flyer is pretty good. Oh, big announcement today happening about neutrinos and astrophysics. That's exciting. I'm okay with all of these things. Graveyard Marshal here with limited graveyard resources. It's either Strangling Spores and Stay on Color, or it's this Herald of Faith, which is basically just like a... It's, you know, this is pretty much equivalent to uh, Air Elemental slash Sarah Angel that gains you two life every turn. Soot is a very good common. This is a double white card. These are questions we ask ourselves. I took the white card because cause YOLO. Oh, and then we get past the Luminous Bonds. That's pretty good. I also like Knightly Valor and Gallant Cavalry. Girlfriend brought me the Sarcom Planeswalker deck and five packs on my home records when she gave me the lunch. I opened all the Elder Dragons. Wow, that's weird. That's really weird. Uh, we're taking the Luminous Bonds. I also think it's interesting, like, Gallant Cavalry is four power for four mana. Knightly Valor is four power for five mana, and you run the risk of getting the creature you're putting it on killed. So I actually wonder why this is common, but this is uncommon. Does that make sense to you guys? Either way, give me that Bonds. The name is Bonds. Luminous Bonds. That's how the James Bond theme starts, in case you guys didn't know. Let's probably just take Vengeance here. I could We could take like a Scholar or this fiery finish that doesn't deal damage to players for some reason when it costs a ridiculous six mana and it's a sorcery. But we're probably just going to take take Vengeance. Oh, could take this guy. We could abandon this graveyard. Oh, actually, we could just take Strangling Spores. That's a pretty good card that doesn't force us to give up our first pick rare. I like that. Oh, Shanala, appreciate that. I am okay with being your favorite Frank. I accept. I accept these terms that aren't actually terms at all. If you know what I mean. There's literally one card in our colors here, so I'm just going to take this Murderer's Axe. Which, oh, Marauder's Axe. That's much, that's much friendlier than a Murderer's Axe. Boy, Murderer's Axe is just a really, uh... That's a real dark title for a card. Mavaka goes, congrats on the 2 one, buddy. You're getting there. Can you occasionally say yoink when taking a card? Well, I'm going to do it, and I'm also going to assume that one yoink buck is in is in the works if, if this happens, so we'll see. But, uh... Whenever one or more creatures leave your graveyard... This is cute, but, like, I don't think it's good enough to hit the graveyard, Marshall, right? 
Also, I don't like that it's one or more. Like, oh, I'll exile three creature cards with one card, and then you create one bat. Um, I wish it was for each creature, because then Bone Dragon could be real good. But I mean, like, then even then, like, you're probably not exiling more than three or four creatures. I guess three or four bats is pretty good. But God, that's a lot of work to get three or four bats. Yeah, that's a lot of work to get. Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of work to get three or four bats. That's not ideal. Um, I think it's this over this. Yeah, yoink. I'm just going to take the land. Little yoink arena there for you. Um, each player loses half their life, discards half the cards in their hand, sacrifices half the creatures they control. Round up each time. Uh, that seems utterly miserable. This guy's not good. I might take the Rustwing Valken just because we have a Marauder's Axe, and a three power flyer is better than nothing. And it's also an extra creature that we can get in the graveyard early for Marshall, so it's probably just the best card, but it's really not a good one. Uh, I like Invoke better than Apparatus in this format, I think. There's a lot of awkward enchantments, as you might have seen from our final draft round yesterday. And uh, it's almost like Dominaria, where it's kind of main deckable, maybe? Wrong again. Two Yoink Bucks. Kerwood, thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. All the Yoink Bucks. However, this guy has a 6-5 for 6. Not terrible. Okay, it's not great. But he doesn't he doesn't have Trample. But he's kind of like Colossal Dreadmaw a little bit, right? Anything that kills Colossal Dreadmaw is just going to kill this too. And vice versa. And he's kind of cute. It's clearly an alligator. I don't know why it's called... I don't know why they call it a beast. Boy, Locks on Line Breaker. You are... Uh, you are breaking the mold as far as game design here. Oh, a 3-2 Vanilla Guy. That's... That's great. I mean, you sometimes just need a 6-5 for 6 to, to, to close out some games. That's that's really all I'm saying. And if you have a Pegasus Courser, making a 6-5 flyer is really not terrible. It's serviceable, is is what I'm getting at here. This is the, this is the lesson I'm trying to impart to you, you fine folks. I also might play both of these and just go, go Rustwing Falcon Ham. Whoa! It's probably Death Baron over the other guy. Skeletons and other zombies. Huh. Are there even that many zombies in this set? Are there even that many skeletons? I'm going to take this over. Sky Spanner or Blood Divination. Oh, man. Old friend bought an LGS. That's pretty sweet. That is good stuff. Oh yeah, giving your Skeletal Archer's Death Touch is OP. That's actually insane. Yeah, we only have one zombie right now, but that zombie makes zombies, so we're really hoping to hit other zombies. Zombies, four days. Oh god, Lich's Caress or Starcrown Stag? Also, two very good dragons here as well. This pack is stacked. We have a Spores, a Luminous Bonds, and a Take Vengeance. I think I actually just want the Stag. Stag is basically removal, um, but on a 3-3. So I'm going to take the Stag. Let me know if that's a controversial pick. Also, if you guys are watching this on YouTube right now, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go to the comments and tell me your favorite kind of cheese. This is a, this is a direct YouTube request that we're doing right now. I want to see how many people will actually do it. Ooh, Grave Digger. That's exactly what we want to see. Especially with a Death Baron. Yeah, that's pretty good. Rise from the Grave does turn things into zombies. That is correct. Got Epicure. Dwarven Priest. Are we going to gain any life in our deck? I don't think we have a single life. Oh, Herald of Faith, actually. This is just a ping each turn with the Herald of Faith. I think it's probably better than the Apparatus here. I'm 
was so confused. I was like, you haven't even uploaded this video yet. Then I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that is correct. Oh, Diagraph cool. I don't actually hate that. Oh, Pegasus course is probably better. Look at him. Watch him. Hey, guys, watch him get excited over every pick. Yoink. I like the ghoul just because we have Death Baron, but otherwise it's just a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I actually like this card more than I think I should. 3-7 with Vigilance just blocks literally everything. Also, again, with Corsair, it's not bad. I think Abnormal Endurance is also pretty good. I think you can make argu arguments for uh, Endurance, Knight, and Macabre Waltz. My, my issue with Macabre Waltz is that we have Graveyard Marshal, which is going to give us something to do with our creatures in the Graveyard anyway. Um, I kind of like having one of these. We also have a Grave Digger, too, so I'm just going to take the Knight of the Tusk. The point is both Macabre Waltz and Abnormal, whatever it is, both give you things to do. They give you ways, ways to get back very valuable creatures like Grave Marshal or Death Baron. Or Stag, if you're going to lose them. But we do have a Grave Digger, which does a very similar thing, so... Oh, I'm just going to take this Duress for the sideboard. This is a late-skilled animator, though. Don't think we need a Manolith. Oh, wow. That is a... What? Oh, my. Oh, my. I actually think it's still Starcrown Stag. I think Stag is better than Angel. Wow, that was ridiculous. I wish I didn't have to pick there. Uh, and then you get a pack like this where you're like, oh, Aegis of the Heavens, a plus one, plus seven until end of turn. Why is this uncommon? <laughs> it's like, oh, it lets you block a thing one time. Oh, that's that's great. Uh, I'm going to take this guy just because it's a zombie. Actually, this is a really late Spark Tongue Dragon. Yeah, we're not jumping ship with double Starcrown, Stag, Luminous Bonds, Corsair, Herald of Faith. Ideally, we won't need these Valkans, but I also don't mind playing them because we have a lot of things that uh, synergize with them, like Marshall. And by a lot of things, I mean we have Marshall. Oh, it's uncommon because... Yeah, well, it shouldn't be uncommon just because there's one Mythic in the set that makes it really good, like... That's kind of cringy. Like, okay, I mean, if you want to get Arcade Sabbath, play Arcade Sabbath, and then fill your deck with plus one, plus sevens on the off chance you get to draw your Arcade Sabbath. Like, I think you've earned a win at that point. I don't think it needs to be uncommon because of that. Elvish call Clan Caller. Two headed zombie. This pack's pretty bad for us, unfortunately. It's probably to take Vengeance or Macabre Waltz. I do like Macabre Waltz with Grave Digger. And we have a bunch of very, very good creatures. It's probably Macabre Waltz. It's basically a tormenting voice for your graveyard. Take Vengeance is okay. I mean, I guess it's actually better with Double Star Crown Stag. Yeah, I'll take the Take Vengeance. Oh, wow, this card's great. Surprise! It's here. I'm gonna take this Lich's Caress though, because that is probably better than Sky Sky Scanner. We don't really have a Sky Scanner deck. How are we getting no skeletal archers? This is not okay. Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, speak of the skeleton. I mean, but do I really want it over a Strangling Spores? Probably. Yeah, I mean, if we have Death Baron out, it just kills literally anything. It's got to be good. Plus, it's also very, very good.
This deck seems very good. Oh, trust me, I'm well aware of being able to draw about drawing cards being good. I once lost a cube match because I chose to draw cards with Consecrated Sphinx instead of winning the game. No one, no one ever needs to remind me about how good drawing cards is. Also, our removal is very, very good. And this pack is not, however. What's our removal right now? We got this guy, this guy. These are kind of removal. All three of these creatures are very, very good. So this guy, two of this guy. Yeah, that's all very good. That's all very good. Uh, it's just walking corpse. I want to open this so I can just open this and draft all the millstones. It might just be Knight of the Tusk number two. It might be better than Bog Stomper. I don't know. It might be Mind Rot number two. Yeah, I'll just take Mind Rot number two. Line Break? We have two Line Breakers in the sideboard. That's... <laughs> Boy, a line breaker is the last thing I want here. Oh, Sky Scanner is great for the curve here. It fits right in the three spot. Strangling Spores is probably the strongest card, and the Rise from the Grave is also very, very good. Ugh. Picks like this are really stupid. I don't really want to have to pass another Strangling Spores, but I also don't want to have to. I like the Sky Scanner as well. But, um, Rise does make the card a zombie, but that only interacts with Death Baron, so I don't really care about that. I'd rather just have one of these two. I want to take the scanner, because I, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, boy. This deck is great. Uh, Excel Tart, Colorless Creature, again, Life Field, it's power. I This actually might not be terrible if we're playing against the blue deck. I don't think it's this guy. It's not this guy. I don't really want a second Duress. Maybe Mighty Leap is the pick. Yeah, let's take the Mighty Leap. That's probably better. Ooh, Gallant Cavalry. And a Doom Dissenter. Those are both pretty late. I wanted the Scanner because I think it has a better interaction with Graveyard Marshal. It's just a creature that can go to the graveyard. It's also... I, we have a lot of expensive guys, so I want to be able to hit our hard drops. Um, this guy makes a zombie, which is relevant with Death Baron. I'll probably play it over Walking Corpse, actually. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, the Macabre Balls came back. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll take out the Walking Corpse. We'll probably take out the two Valkins. Uh, I'll play another Duress. Can you imagine if the Strangling Spores comes back? Hey, the other knight. Must be knights. So we have 14 creatures. That actually seems pretty good. I could see playing Walking Corpse over, like, Bog Stomper. But we do have a Pegasus. And we do have a way to tap down their guys. So I kind of like having the big dude. We also only have like two, two drops, so I might actually want the walking corpse in here. What we have a Marauder's Axe for the for the Falcons. Valken number three. We also have two Inspired Charge in the sideboard. And an Evoke the Divine. And a third Duress. Our sideboard's actually pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Denmark, congrats on the Reboot Vacation, buddy. That sounds pretty nice. I can't take a vacation. Because then you guys leave. Mighty Leap. Take Vengeance. Take Vengeance. Dissenter Macabalts. Corpse. Gravy Boy. That's a gravy boy. Need one cut. 
I don't want to cut any of the creatures because they're all very good. Probably cut Mind Rot, maybe. Yeah, I think this deck's good. The old 8-8. Eight, eight. Done. Let's do it. I feel like streaming my vacation is literally the opposite of the vacation existing. Yeah, this is a good mulligan hand. Sure. You know what? Sure. I will bottom you. Got to love your content, so we got a mulligan to uh, mono, mono planes. Nothing to cast. I think changing my green screen to a beach and pretending I'm on vacation is eh, might not might not have the same effect on me anyway. Oh, we did it! Look at that—we're so good at this game. Well, this hand turned out quite well. I'll trade you. So divine. I will take all the damages. Let me get my stag out. I do know how a wine bottle and glass look like, so I think we're good. Stag OP, just in case you guys didn't know. Oh, I see. Well, that's a tragedy. We're going to try to hit a land here, ladies and gentlemen, so that we can take vengeance on this Avon Wind Mage. We did it. Alright, so this guy next turn is going to be pretty good with the Pegasus, I imagine. We can start dealing six damage in the air. And we've got a leap so we can deal another four, so they're basically dead. They can't even survive anymore. None of the cards in their hand matter anymore because they're basically dead. And they're probably just going to kill this guy at this point. Which makes me wonder if I just Mighty Leap it. Deals an extra two and it wastes their turn and they're... Oh, well, never mind. One relaxing vacation bug. Kurt, thanks so much, buddy. Always a pleasure. This guy. Essence scatter. No? No essence scatter? You're not going to scatter my essences to the wind? Wow. <laughs> Show me what he's done to you. Stay in the guy. It's true. It's true. Make the most of you. Come on, baby. Was that Mr. Big? That's gotta be Mr. Big, right? I'll be the next to be with you. Four cards in hand? What in the earth, man? Well, that's pretty good. I guess. At some point it will be. 
All right, no subtle wreckage. There's no way you just take six with seven mana. And oh, you got chromium, don't you? They always do. They always do. Ay, ay, ay. This is ridiculous. I'm having a good time. I wish Mighty Leap was plus three plus three, but alas. No. Cool. I'll play a 1-1. One, one. Mythic rares are pretty cool, it's true. Okay, I guess you're just showing off. Wow. Can't even Lich's Caress here because we only have one swamp. So if we draw Lich's Caress, sad times. Yep. Fun game. I'm not having fun, we're mind rotting. Do 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 do. Two mind rots. They were basically dead, it was real close. If they didn't play the 3 7, they basically couldn't win. I had a 1-3, a 1-1, one, one, and a 1-1 one, one on board. I'm not sure how they actually recovered from that, but here we are. So, Yeah, that was close. I agree. I will play um, zip, doop, do, do, do. Sand is reasonable, but not great. So I'll clearly keep it. I think there wasn't, yeah, there wasn't 8L, 8O Elemental. It was Force of Savagery, I believe. Which is a super cool design, by the way. Watch him go plus two, plus two on this guy. I'd be fine with it. We'll just take our vengeance. I'll take my... I'll take my beatings. So if we can draw a four drop into land, that's what we really want here. Wow. Oh, what up, Brian? No attacks, nerd. Okay, I'll not play anything either. <laughs> you got me. Nightly Valor on this guy could be pretty good, because then we can't take vengeance on it. And, uh, wow, both these creatures are really weird. And they're seven mana... Black creature deck well they're definitely canceling this that's for sure or essence scattering it yeah obviously to the surprise of no one We're having a good time. It'll take vengeance with the double double vigilant creatures. Seems good. I 
Mighty Leap and a Swift Claw. I don't understand. I'm just going to take Vengeance here because I could have played Angel, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I'm just kind of on autopilot for this match because I'm not thrilled about it. Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're basically dead, is what you're saying. Yep. What's up, Undreamt Tuna? I did not even know Sif was in this set. Seems good. Yeah, their deck seems insane. I thought our deck seemed good, but their deck seems significantly better. Just pay the mana that's in the stupid... It's in the stupid pool. This Angel of Dawn should get haste, too. Because that's a... That's an on-flavor ability. Two black, one black, two black, one black. <sighs> Fascinating. Block here. Well, we're not dead yet. Let's keep that in mind. Man, being done with physical therapy seems pretty OP. Uh, M19's been going okay. Divination. God, all they're doing is drawing cards. They've drawn like eight cards more than us. That's unbelievable. They didn't attack. Well, that's pretty good for us. Okay. I'm just going to play Death Baron here because next turn we can play this guy and this guy if we hit a well, any land and we're gonna keep up why didn't you have vigilance I would really love to deal some damage here but we're at 10 they're at 21 I don't really feel great about it so they just play their wind reader sphinx that they couldn't play last turn of course it is This is going to be pretty sweet when we Skeleton Archer that dude. Pull up, pull up, chip, 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 chip. Land. Well, that's close. Archers! Get him. Hold up. Yeah, we're just going to attack for three here. We got to start getting some damage in at some point. Anyone wants to be with you. That's a pretty cool thing to do, thing to do. Do we just chump block here or do we just take five? God, neither sounds great. Would love to have this guy out if only we drew a land instead of a walking corpse. Oh, uh, I don't have any plans on playing any GPs this year. Yep, I guess we're just taking five here. Planning to be dead to uh, Chromium when they hit their black source. Cool. Hey, look, we found the land.
we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just gonna attack here. It doesn't increase our clock any if we uh if we equip this. It's still four turns. Oh, we couldn't trade a skeleton against first strike. That's not how Cavalry Drill Master works, unfortunately. Wow. <laughs> like you do. Sweet deck. Sweet Chromium Lena Windreader Sphinx deck. Wow, this is aggressive. Yeah, please attack. This is going to end very, very poorly for you. <laughs> oh boy, these guys alone kill us. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen if we equipped this last turn. So they'd be at two. And we have nothing else that actually is evasive. My kingdom for a Pegasus Courser right now. Pretty sure Pegasus Courser would win us the game. We have Courser, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah. <sighs> well, that was a fun match. You know what, I'll keep it because we have lands to play things with. And sometimes that's all you need. It's rarely all you need, but. Mm. I feel like our deck is good. I just feel like we drew pretty badly and their deck was incredible, so. Okay, once we hit that four, five, six point, we're good to go. Hope they don't do anything before then. Okay, that is not a card I care about. All right. Next turn, we're gonna start doing stuff. We're gonna we're gonna start doing the things. They didn't do anything. Good step. Agreed. Agreed. All right. What's the Frund Key neighborhood ice cream man? That's really weird. Anything with the word Frund Key in it is is a little bit scary to me. I think. Oh, look at this guy. And it's an elf. I'm gonna make a big dude. Shut them down, open up shop. The thing is, the death touch doesn't really matter now. It's a 3-4, it kills basically anything we have anyway, so. 
I guess you could rapid bite this and basically get an extra point out of it, but that's fine. Ooh, nothing was done. I like it. Could just play both of these guys and then have a really big floater. This is five in the air next turn. Oh, I guess it does have reach. Oh, I guess we can tap it down. Whatever. I'm just going to play this guy because of the stupid reach. Um, one, two, three. Like, if we if we tap here, they can just double block the stag. Which means this guy is pretty good. We can just tag with this guy. And then they either trade here or take four. Yeah, that's good. Plus, we have McCall Bolts in hand, so I don't actually mind just trading off some guys here. Oh, yeah, do that. Oh, yeah, that was a great trade. <laughs> I'll make that trade all day. Now I have Mr. Big stuck in my head. God, you guys are the worst, man. I see. Well then. Oh, Stag City. Actually, Stag into Corpse is pretty good. What if we just trade here? Can we trade there? No. No. Oh yeah, this is good. All these trades are just fine. I feel like I'm trading my subpar creatures for your premium creatures. And that's okay with me. We're going to wait on the Macabre Bolts because we can actually get back Stags instead. And uh, we can also, if we just get a land, we can discard a land pretty easily. Two Stags. Also, once we start clearing out their creatures on board, the Stags just get mm, exponentially better. Ah, I see. I see. Well, we're still going to deal 8 damage this turn, so that's pretty okay. Werewolf, bar mitzvah, spooky, scary, men becoming wolves. Boys becoming men, men becoming wolves. What do you got here? Growth? 5-5. Five, five. Are we just trading here? I think we are. I don't want this to be for nothing. It's a 2 for 2, and we get Macabre Bolts back at some point, so... Yeah, like next turn, Macabre Bolting to get back, uh, like, Bog Stomper and Stag is pretty good. Or worst case scenario, they or best case scenario, they kill the Starker on Stag and we get both back, both Stags. That's yeah, eh, so. What do we want to do, do? See, doesn't really do much though here. Unfortunately, we tap this guy and then they can just block the Walking Corpse. I guess we can just attack with both of these. Still deal a point. Always yield to that. And always yield to that. And worst case scenario, they're killing our Star Crown Stag with a trick. They have one card in hand. Star Crown Stag, is that what it's called? Yeah, okay. Okay. 
You don't know my life? Let's get back to Stag and the Bog Stomper. At this point, 6-5 is just better than 4-4. Four, four. Stag City. That's unfortunate. This card has been the bane of my existence every time it's been cast. So they just get to two for one us? Sure. How convenient that it has six toughness and not five. Big old Stompy. What? Choose a creature to... Yeah, this guy. This is what's known as the old double taps. Two taps. Pretty sure they're dead here. And we are correct. Alright. So, I guess the Claire Dominance was not that much of a bane of our existence, but nevertheless... It was something. Thank you. Kid Cabbage, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really, I like saying welcome back as if you left and then you came back. But, I mean, really there's no other way to put it, right? I think we're good here. Thanks for sticking around. I like that. Oh, that's good. Dang. Nick, you want to be my marketing manager? I'll allow it. What's the pay? Oh, it's good. It's good pay. We have the best pay. Huge, huge pay. Here's another one of those hands that aren't great, but we'll keep it because we can play all the things. Sometimes magic puts you in such a position where you're like, you know what? Just being able to play my cards is more important than having cards to me well we can also deal with everything they have at this point so that's cool now we're gonna get a we're gonna get a, a graveyard marshal here off the top so that's that's pretty neat it was a swamp i lied to you guys i'm sorry You know he gets that hungry. I oh man! If you guys want to talk to somebody about having hungry Howie sponsor me, I just had some hungry Howies like two days ago. It was an enjoyable experience. Oh look at this guy! I'm a little buddy. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, you know what it means. He's a little buddy. I don't think we have any activated. Oh, we have graveyard marshal. So we're gonna actually we're gonna take vengeance upon this this runic armosaur. Swamp is basically Ravia. They're basically the same thing. Nick, if you can get the CEO of Hungry Howies on the phone, I'd appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I think there's some janky modern deck out there with Nickel Bullets, Ravager, and Training. Um, I don't think there's one out there uh, because that would imply someone literally created it already, and that seems hard. Uh, I imagine it's possible to make.
kill this dummy, and then we take a point. What a, what a hot mess. Can you put Howie on the phone? Hey, Frank, now you're busy at the moment in between drafts or another stream. You can check your Twitch D. Uh, oh, I did. Actually, I checked yesterday. I just forgot to to do the thing. Awesome, Del. Hold on. Oh, and there's also a thing. Hold on. I think I've seen a similar Rick and Morty playmat by RK Post. Oh, that's the one. Oh, you sent that saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I would totally, I would totally sign that. Um, all right, so three, four. Yeah, sure. I'll just take a million, and then we'll let's just caress this guy. I got word eight already. Where does where does the life go? You know. I mean, they have to be out of cards by now, right? You know what? We're finally blocking. I can't take any more from this guy. Hold on, let me see what this voicemail is. I think I have a dentist appointment this Monday. I think I forgot all about it. I totally do. Oh no. This card is really hard to get out of this desk. Oh my god, why is this? Okay, we figured it out. Yeah, I have a business appointment at 1.30 on Monday. I totally forgot. They didn't attack with this? I don't understand. Stream, you're it's also at <coughs> excuse me, it's also at one thirty, so uh presumably the uh stream might be a little later that day. Unless I can literally get there at one thirty, they see me immediately, it takes five minutes and uh and then we're done. I'll take three here and then I'll bonds that guy, and then we're two for one. I don't know if you guys know how two for ones work, but it's when you get uh two cards of theirs for one card of yours. It's a real value train, guys. All right, now we're at a point where we're just attacking for five because our clock is faster than this one one. But this is where they go. Also, if they play declared dominance on this guy, I don't really want to be getting wrecked, riggedy riggedy wrecked. Oh, that's very good. All right, you don't have the mana for it yet, though. Oh, yeah, to rest me. Nailed it. Why are you attacking with this elvish cl clan caller? I think we're still in better shape. They only have five mana. They're two lands away from casting after making a zombo. Oh, uh, it's just a routine checkup. It's a routine cleaning and a check, a cleaning and a checkup. Oh, now they're attacking with this? Well, that's interesting. Well, we know they have Titanic. Are you serious right now? Ten lands, five cards. Six cards. Seems good. I mean, we could attack here, hope they don't have Titanic, and then try to go for the win next turn. If we get Mighty Leap. But if we don't get Mighty Leap, we're in pretty rough shape, I think. Mighty Leap wins us the game. Does anything else win us the game? Maybe they have another one they want to search it out. I mean, they can't do that when they're tapped out, so I don't know why they tap out and then play and then don't attack. 
Um, I mean, Archer doesn't win us the game is the problem. Like, we put them to seven, then we attack it for... Then they put them to two. I'm just going to hold back because... I mean, we don't... We're not dead. Watch, they're just going to be like, land. Make a 5-5 five, five dragon. Which I guess fine. Land. <laughs> Make a 5-5 five, five dragon. This walking corpse is just terrible. Any turn that's not two, this guy's just terrible. This guy. So we're trading here. Where are my simulation powers? That is a good question. Well, at least they lose this guy, so it's one for one. And we can block it. Unless they go, like, declare dominance on this guy, which they're holding, and then they just kill us with the dragon. Yeah, you guys asked for the simulation powers. Here they are. Burr, 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 burr. That's actually a good, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's going on the soundboard for sure, dude. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I've also heard murder, but I haven't seen one murder. It, yep, that's a cool hand. You know what? Sure. Lands would be great here. Three, four, five, six. I'll keep it. Nope. You're not a land. <clears throat> Never didn't have it. Land could be good. Could hit us the three into four. One gets you two, as they say. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. Anybody got time for that guy? One, two, three. Trying to hit it. Trying to hit it. Didn't hit it. Cool. Missing a land drop. Sounds good. Be grateful you have two creatures. I guess that's true. Every game they have that guy. No blocks. Oh, look at that. We got... We got the deal. I will just trade off everything here. Like, if you play a thing, I'll trade. I'm sure they're just going to play Display Dominance on this guy to attack us with both. Should have attacked with the Sky Scanner so they don't lose to that card on turn... F five. It's actually pretty good here. But... <clears throat> One thousand percent block this guy. Yikes. We 
we take eight here if we don't do anything? Ugh. I guess we can actually we'll chump block there. That's fine. We'll just play Herald and uh Oh, the, oh, it, may, it all makes sense now. The double archer. Because of course you do. Knight of the Tusk is pretty good here. Again, assuming they don't just put display dominance on this guy and kill us. Which they would, because it would kill all of our blockers. And, uh, you know, things would, things would be bad. Trade? Okay. Now we can Gravedigger this guy back, which is nice. Sure. All right. Okay. Okay. Land would be nice because then we can get Gravedigger and Death Baron on the board. Also, they play the land, so Mind Rot would be nice here because then we can. Okay, they're paying costs again. All right, so never mind. Okay, so they have one card. What are the odds it's display dominance? Well, it's actually 100%. Okay, now we're looking for three, four. Yeah, got to be digging graves here. Let's get Harold back because you are the strongest card in our paltry graveyard. Block here, block here. Take three. We're not dead yet, but it doesn't feel good. I mean, it's core set. Like, 3 7 for 6 with Vigilance is totally fine. I mean, it's it's 10 power worth of stats, which, I mean, you're going to get a 5 5 for 6. Similarly. Obviously, 6 6 for 6 is a little bit better, but you're also getting Vigilance in a big old bottom. Huh. So you have Titanic Growth. Which kills us if we don't block here. So I guess we just have to block here because I'd rather lose this guy. Yeah. Obviously. Never don't have it. Two, three, four, five. Can't even play two things here, which is pretty sad. Can play Angel Equip. Oh boy. Yeah, I just feel like we're way behind here every single turn. I felt like our deck was great. I don't know. I guess I was incorrect. Oh, boy. Get two archers back. Discard a land. Sure. Seems good. It's probably a good thing because that song is great. So I just trade here. We take one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this game's over. I have nothing we can actually do here that makes any difference whatsoever. All right. So we're just going to play the last round for funsies because it doesn't actually matter in uh, in Swiss queues because they can't, they, heaven forbid, they incentivize you for playing all your matches and going one, two. But, you know, what can you do? Also, let me know in the YouTube comments if you guys are watching how many of you stick around after 
O2 for a third round. Because it might not even be worth playing it out, to be quite honest, if no one's interested. But I don't know. Here we are. O2. What a way to go. Like, my biggest problem is that there is a lot of removal in this format. The removal is also just terrible. Like, take Vengeance being a sorcery. Okay, cool. Um, the six mana card that deals seven damage being a sorcery. Okay, cool. Like, what else is there? There's also a bunch of other sorceries that they have. Um, Lich's Caress, five mana for a sorcery. Like, who are like who is this set for? Who are you catering to? Who's your audience? I thought the core set's attempt was to get a bunch of cards into standard, like to get a bunch of like Oblivion, Oblivion Ring, uh, you know, negate type cards into the format so that, that they'd have a way to reprint those pretty easily. But I don't understand why these are all sorceries. Like it's not Portal, man. Like it's not, it's not, I don't know. So I assume they're going to have another Chromium because they're three colors. And the only real reason to go three colors in this format, I feel, is when you have an Elder Dragon. I mean, I know course sets have historically been for newer players, but I was not aware that that was the intent this time. If you could show me where that's the case, I would like to see it. Not saying it's not. I'm just saying, like, I thought the I thought the idea was to reprint to have a set that where they could reprint a bunch of cards um, that are useful in standard. But then we have like Hierophants, uh, like the the card that's literally strictly worse than Ixalan's Binding and Cast Out, which is weird because both of those are legal in standard. So now we have a four mana Oblivion Ring. Alright, so if you have a trick here, we get to trade by not, and by trade I mean lose our guy. But I'll, I'll, I'll risk it for one point of damage. I'll risk the mighty leap. Well, that guy's very good. I would love to have a land here.
problem is I don't really have a way to get this guy off the board. <laughs> so that's obnoxious. We could Luminous Bonds and just deal seven here, which feels fine. But I don't love the idea of them just having a way to gain life on the board, so. Hopefully you don't just gain any life for the rest of the game. I agree with you. I am also not looking for the, the sorting. This is actually fine because we can still attack with it and tap something down. Oh, interesting. Getting in there with the horse fish. Horse fish in the city. Does this do anything? Gets rid of you. I think Death Burn just might be better to have on the board. I don't care about your horse fish. Next set for hanging in is Eldritch Moon. Oh, fantastic. It is four sets. It's Kaladesh, Aether Revolt, Amonkhet, and Hour of Devastation. That is correct. I almost kind of want this guy to die just so we can Macabre Bolt it back or make a, make a Zombone, which is connected to the Leg Bone, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, I guess we just win this game. I did not see that coming when they have seven lands and four cards. 
I don't know what's going on. I actually don't care about this walking corpse at all. I think I just want double mind rot again. We're just going to totally mind rot everybody. Without actually redrawing the mind rots is what's going to happen here. So. I feel like I'm being very quiet right now. I apologize. Hot time in the center. Pensive stream. Ah. <laughs> oh. I need to get a drink after this. Like a stiff drink. Well, we did submit. So I put up I put up a, a webcam I have on Craigslist. It's a C922. It's a Logitech. It's real nice. Retails for between 70 and 100. I'm asking for 50 cuz it's pretty much like new. And someone's like, "Can I give you 40 for it?" And I don't know. God, I hate I hate haggling over like 5 to 10 bucks. That's that's the worst. But then like when the price like when that's like over 15% of the value, I don't know. Weird. I'll keep this hand. They went to six, and we're going to mind rot them a million times? Nah, just kidding. We don't have any mind rots. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? Stick with 50 firm. I can't tell if you're... I did say OBO, but like... What's, what is going on here? 2113? What's even happening? I'm confused. I'll donate you 40 bucks, then you can smash it. <laughs> Okay, let's do that. I'm just going to email him and be like, sorry, someone gave me 40 bucks to smash it, so I'm going to do that instead. Thanks. All right, Rogue's Gloves is pretty good here. I'm not thrilled with... All right, we're just going to play this off curve because I'd rather just not have you draw a million cards. It's 60 bucks now. Get wrecked. All right. Should have brought in the Invoke. I didn't foresee you playing a million of these idiots, but here we are. I guess we do have two six drops right now, which are both probably going to be pretty good against their shenanigans. What's that place you like to go with the mozzarella sticks and all the goofy shit on the walls? Shenanigans? Oh, I see. You're going you're gonna to be cute about it. Okay. Well, it's also, it's 50 bucks for, like, a, one of the top-tier webcams. Yeah, I'll just let you draw a card. Your random card has to be worse than my... Oh, well, that's pretty good. I'm not going to play it, because we can just play that and this if we draw one more land, but I will play old Tuscarino. Uh, if we attack with the flyer they block here, if we attack with this guy... I don't think we're in a position to be attacking here. <laughs> I 
can't be blocked by white creatures. Gas. Oh, Lord. We're having a good time. Yep. Boy. Everything's coming up Millhouse here. I totally forgot about that ability. I guess we're going to be playing a Bog Stomper. Or we can bonds this and play Stag. Maybe attack first and eat this guy. What did they... Oh, they just sacrificed. I was like, what did they play there? What is even happening? Yeah, they could just sack this stupid field creeper and kill our Pegasus Courser, which I'm not thrilled about. Three flyers? Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. Our deck seems actually terrible for some reason. I thought this deck was great. I don't think Death Baron does anything on its own, which is really sad. I don't think there's. I also don't think there's enough synergies in this format that you want to be playing. I don't care about Mind Rot anymore. I've changed my mind. We're learning all kinds of things, guys. I'm bringing one Duress. I think they just wanted an excuse to reprint Death Baron, so they're like, yeah, stick Death Baron in the set. That's cool. And they're like, oh, what, what are we going to work with it, though? Uh, I don't know. You got Skeletal Archer, I guess. And you got Walking Corpse. Like, it's not like Ixalan, where it's like you can ma easily make a tribal deck. You're basically just stuck with, like, these, uh, these D-level zombies and skeletons. Uh, I don't know what our opponent's record is. But if we are about to win, I will concede to them. So, Because that's a good point. There's actually no incentive for us to win. I want to first turn the duress here because I want to be able to hit the uh, rogues bracers if, if they have them. That's a cool thing to do. It is. It's a set with tribal cards, but no real tribal support. So you're like, oh. Unless artifact is a tribe, in which case there's a ton of blue artifact things that you can do. But only one person at the table can actually really be making the blue artifact deck.
pool. <laughs> and you literally have no new no islands in your hand. Oh my god. Just stop. Just stop. Oh, how lucky. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Fantastic. We're not going to really have any, uh, any reason to concede to our opponent, I see. Yep. Why didn't you play Plains Regal Bloodlord this turn? You have Plains and Regal Bloodlord in hand. Why did you play Swamp Apparatus? That's a little weird, but okay. Oh, this guy costs five. I actually always think this guy costs... I always think this guy costs four, my dude. I always think this... Yeah, I always think this guy costs four instead of five. Because what's there... Isn't there a two-four vampire for four in Ixalan? I'm gonna look it up. Four, black, white, acquire multicolored. I'm thinking of Cliff Hank, Cliffhaven Vampire, which is two black white and it's a two four flyer. And whenever you gain life, each opponent loses a life, so it's very similar. That's the one I'm thinking of. That's BFC. Actually, it's actually it's Oath. <laughs> yeah. There we go. You did it. All right, you're gone. You're gone. Yeah, so this guy's good. He's just going to kill whatever we play next turn. Go to 13, go to 10. They have a 3 3, a 2 2, and a 1 3, and an explosive apparatus. Our deck is terrible. Keep this in mind, guys. Crucible Crucible Rose's promo card seems pretty good though. Not on Magic Online where it's like a dollar, but in real life it seems pretty strong. All right, let's play a dude, my dude. That's immediately going to get killed with a Meteor Golem. It's money, but it's not fun to open when you don't play. It's, it isn't fun to open when you don't play limited, but you can sell it for a lot more limited. So that's a thing. Think of it as an investment in future limited. You get one less card in your pool, in your limited pool. And that allows you to play a lot more. Yeah, of course. Oh, boy. Boy, I am just exhausted. <laughs> and they even have this on board, so if we block this guy, which is the only creature we can block, we can't even save it. So, you know, good times. Thank goodness we got rid of their Tezzeret, which they can't even cast because they only have one island. Thank goodness. Of course. Perfect draws are perfect. Not like it matters. I mean, we're not going to make anything from... <laughs> Jeez, that card's terrible. Okay, well, literally dead. Well, alright, so literally didn't win a match here. 
Not great. I'm still going to post that anyway because I think there's stuff to be learned from your losses as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're on Twitch right now, I'm not leaving. I'm literally just ending the YouTube video, so don't close out and be like, I thought you were leaving. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Discord. Both of the Not Discord, uh, Twitch. Both of the links are in the description below. You can find them there. And I will see you guys next time, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of luck.